Hi, this is Tony Redpath, and I'm here for Dance Visions to teach you how to do turns with variations in styling. Okay, so this DVD is designed so that you can work on your own posture and balance through the varying different turning actions that we have. Plus, we're going to do some basic arm styling action for different rotation moves. So now, when we do this, we have different techniques in uh, smooth dancing. We have swing, rotation, and sway. Swing is where we develop power. Rotation is where we give the power direction. And then sway is an inclination of the body towards the center of the turn. For most of this DVD, we're just going to do it with no, sway, uh, with no sway, so with no inclination of the hips at all. We're going to keep our spine nice and vertical. We're going to burn that muscle memory in, and then later on, when you're feeling really comfortable with that, when we add the element of sway, you're going to feel very comfortable with it. Okay, so we're going to get started and talk about your posture in turns. Okay, so in dancing we have to have good posture at all times. That's what's going to give us balance and control. So normally the problem with turns is we go out of balance because our posture is getting pulled into funky positions. So first of all, we need to know what good posture is, then we're going to go over some techniques to help maintain it through turning actions. So first of all, good posture. We have our center of gravity, which is right where the navel is, that panel right there. Underneath the center of gravity, we have our hips, knees, and ankles all bend and connect us down to the floor. This is where we're going to get a lot of our power. We also have our center of levitation, where our sternum is. So our navel, center of gravity, and then our sternum is our center of levitation. So gravity is connecting us down to the ground and levitation is lifting us up and projecting us up nice and tall to stand our posture up nice and straight, get a nice long spine so that we look like we're very vertical to our hip line. So you can see my hips are here and then my spine is nice and straight, perpendicular on all angles. So bad posture is when the tummy comes forward, the shoulders hunch, the head comes forward, not very pleasant to look at. So from here, we pull our center of gravity back in underneath a lifting center of levitation. Then we pick our head up and stretch from there upwards. So now to get this good posture, I'm just gonna talk on a scale of one to 10 because we can go on a contraction to an extension on a forward and back plane. So if we go all the way forward on a scale of one to 10 being all the way back, if I contract where my knees touch my chest, this is a contraction at a level one. If I curl up and I'm hunched over two, three, four is a little bit hunched, Five is absolutely straight, front and back. If I start going backwards now, six. You can see I've, my chest is lifted too far back and my back is arching now. So that's a six. Seven is I start to go back. Eight, I'm starting to do a back bend. Nine, I'm starting to go way go back and then hopefully with a partner I would be able to go all the way back and 10 is a complete back bend extension. Okay, so we have all the way through. So I paused at five because five is good posture. That's where the rib cage is closed and projected up and forward towards the ball of the foot. What happens is in bad posture, we tend to fall forward to four or wave back to a six. Okay, so we don't want our shoulders to go back here. So it's possible for our posture to go there, but during turns, we wanna try and keep our spine as straight as possible. So this is five posture. Okay, the whole time we're doing that, I want you to feel like your head's pulling up to the ceiling and the shoulders are relaxing down to the floor. I call this the coat hanger posture, where your head's like the top of a coat hanger, going out to the shoulders and you're pulling a jacket down to the floor while the coat hanger pulls up to the ceiling. So nice tall spine and picking the rib cage up and forward for good balance when we start adding turn. Okay, so that's our good posture. Then we're gonna start talking about turning actions. <laughs> 